The Wood Knight is sponsored by I Would Like. Woodworking as a hobby is typically working towards something. In this case, working towards this cabinet for all my drill bits. However, often woodworking, again as a hobby, is more about the journey than it is the end product for a lot of people working with their hands or doing something physical rather than sitting in front of a computer all day is a good outlet. For others, it can be a way to cope with mental issues, whether it's PTSD or depression or whatever. And there is real value in the process or the journey more so than the product itself. Yeah, yes, yeah, you've got something out of it in the end, but just doing can be enough. This project, um, it's a nothing project. There's nothing particularly special about it. But the video was very difficult to make, primarily because I'm having quite a bad week. Um, I'm not trying to make this a sob story. This is more a look at how difficult at times it can be for some people to make things regardless of their skill level. So for me, I have chronic migraines um, and the severity of it um, varies. Every day I have a headache, but some days I have a full-blown migraine where I cannot see properly. While I am in control of myself, uh, so I know when I'm safe to use tools and when I'm not, a lot of the decision making can be very difficult. So I might be safe to use a table saw, but as you'll see, to assemble a simple cabinet, it took forever to figure out how to clamp it up and it just kept falling over on me. So again, I'm not trying to make this a sob story, it's more a look into how bad days can be for me, but how it's okay if you have bad days too. Sometimes perseverance is all you need, other times it is a good idea to just get away from it. Sometimes the thing that we use to get away from things is not always the best choice. The other thing that often viewers of this channel, and again I imagine others as well, fail to realise is that even a simple project can take all week to make. Or the reverse is true, that a simple project should only take a few hours, but because of whatever circumstances, um, it can take you two, three, four times as long. For me, I was probably able to average an hour a day over the last week with yesterday being a total write-off. I got out here and I unclamped something and then went back to bed. However you do woodworking, whether it's the highest end, all hand tools, whatever, or whether you use pocket holes or whatever, form of joinery you like, there is no more or less validation in your work, particularly as a hobbyist. And then if you're selling something and trying to pull the wool over people's eyes going, this is the sturdiest joint ever, I've put two nails in it, yeah, sure, there's something wrong with that. But in general, as a hobbyist, uh, however you do woodworking is the right way to do woodworking. There are often on YouTube a lot of very negative comments on you've done this the wrong way, you should use this instead of that. Um, so, some of the best are weird ones like I should wear different types of shoes for when I'm operating a drill because think of the children. And it's, it's bizarre, people forget that this is a hobby, it's not a profession, I'm not a professional teacher, I'm not. 
aiming to teach as such. I happen to show off what I'm doing, but that is different from having a class aimed at children. If children learn from this, great. But at the end of the day, this is entertainment, not anything else. This is me sharing, not instructing. Anyway, that is enough of my sob story, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> I've still got a bit to do on this. I've got a whole bunch of drill bits up there, which those are primarily um, for pen turning and other turning kits and stuff. Uh, so these are all oddball sizes. They're not... So these are all oddball sizes. They're not part of a kit. I think this is like... 13.9 mil and uh, I think there's a few imperial bits half inch 11 11.9 mil sorry so they'll get a similar index to the Forstner bits um, I need to apply some clear coat to the drill front I need to cut down the screws so that they're a little bit shorter because they're designed for 19 mil material uh, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this. There's a few things I would do again. If I was to do this again, there are a few things I'd do differently. Uh, I'd probably make it a little bit shallower. I forgot about the taper at the bottom of the 
uh, drill press stand. So it sticks out a little bit further than what I'd like it to. I would definitely put the drawer, sorry, the shelf in before putting the drawer in because that was a pain to put in. Uh, and I think I had something go wrong with the milk paint. I'm not sure whether I didn't leave that long enough. And it's gone a bit motley. To be honest, it looks fine, particularly for shop furniture. Um, so I'm not overly concerned. But this is great. The height is about right. So this is the sort of height I'd have the drill press at if I was drilling a pen. And that's one of the taller things that we typically do. Um, so this will allow the drill press to get down pretty low. And then if I need any lower than that, I can always wheel this out of the way. So I haven't lost any capacity there uh, and this doesn't stick out further than the drill press table so I've also not lost any capacity in that direction. There will be technical drawings and stuff available for free on my website. Uh, it's You don't really need plans for this but it's more practice for me for writing plans and that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching.